Hey everybody, it's Lacey. Welcome to Paul's and Paper. So I just finished up a, cus a couple uh, custom journals. I did one for a friend that I'm sending her. Um, it's kind of like a Christmas present. And then one I got asked to do was like a uh, Nightmare Before Christmas uh, custom journal. So I just finished those up and then I came across this one here that is like an unfinished journal that I started and I'm like, well, I didn't film the cover of how to do this, but I figured let's just start from where we are and then maybe um, I'll do a full one where I show you how to do like one of my big portfolio style journals. So this one here, um, I want it to be really interactive. I really like those kind of journals. So this one here has um, flips um, and fold outs and it's gonna have all kinds of stuff in the center too. And this is what I found that I had laid with it. I apparently was going to do something with this envelope. I imagine I was going to put it here somehow, but I don't know. I lose these things and I'm like, I need to finish this before I start something else. I need to feel like I need, you know, like you ever get that feeling you need to like feel like you need to check off a box, you know, before you keep going. Makes you feel like you did something. That's kind of where I'm at right now. I feel like I need to uh, to feel like I've accomplished something. So I just have here, this is a 9 by 12 envelope. I have no idea why I cut this. I don't know what I was thinking at the time. It's been a couple months, so who knows. Um, but I did um, bring along some music sheet. Because I was thinking, let's just neutrally cover this with some music sheet and this looks like I was using I've got like um this looks like the fairy tale scrapbook paper pad that I've been trying to use I think this was like my very first paper pad 12 by 12 paper pad that I bought so I, I bet I'm trying to use that up because this was the whole stack that was in it it's just like this fairy tale uh happily ever after and it's just got some older looking papers, some scrolls, castles, once upon a time. So I'm just going to use that paper pad to finish it up. And let's just continue on finishing up projects that we forgot about. So I am going to take my envelope here. And I don't think I want it cut open. I don't know why I did that. So who knows? I'm just going to glue it back together because I don't know why I cut it open in the first place. Maybe had an idea, but completely forgot about it. So we're going to cover the whole thing. Okie doke. So let's just cover with some music paper. Do we really matter? Does it really matter which way it goes? It's only long enough to go this way. Maybe. Just seeing if I could line up a fold. There we go. Maybe we get that fold in there. Okay, we can do that. I don't want this open either, but I do want that flat piece because I want it to extend. So I'm not going to glue my flap down because I want to use this piece, I think, because when I fold it over, see how I don't want it to fold? I don't want a real skinny piece. So I do believe I want that open. Well, we can glue the whole thing shut. Okay, so now let's see if I can do this. Just throw some glue down. Yeah, okay. We're just going to use glue stick. I'm just using my Scotch Create glue stick. I have a feeling I will just sew all around this. So I'm not too concerned about... Oh, shoot. I just thought of something. Mm, I wonder if we still have time. Um... What I was thinking of is the edges. I was wondering if I should washi tape the edges. Should I? Should I? Should I not? Oh, it's always an afterthought. And then I think, oh, I should have done that. Okay. Too late. Let's just continue on. Let's just continue on. Okay, let's try to get my fold in here. In the fold of the music sheet. And maybe that'll bend it. 
help it bend better. This is the worst part. I don't like gluing stuff like this because then you get like this gappy thing and I'm never good at getting that that gappy thing to go away. So it's like, what do you have to do? Do you have to glue it open first? Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm supposed to glue it down first when it's open. Okay, we're going to have a mess now. Too late now. We're going to have a little bump. Carry on, carry on, carry on. Okay. Can you tell it's been a while since I've sat down and actually done anything? I'll tell you. It doesn't take long, and then it's like I feel like I'm out of practice. It's kind of crazy. We uh have been trying to adjust to the fall weather and I think everybody's allergies are going crazy. Um, either that or everybody's just getting colds because um, both my kids got sinus stuff and the coffin, but they're starting to take off the crops from the fields and it's so, so, so dusty outside. So I think that's really affecting people's or ours uh, noses and sinuses and stuff. So everybody's been really kind of under the weather a little bit with trying to adjust to the, the change in the weather, the dust out there from the crops, the leaves, you know, falling. So I don't know if anybody else is having those types of issues, but it seems like it's bad this year. And even me, like, I feel like my husband always yells at me, but I always tell him, I'm like, I don't have allergies, but I don't know. I'm married. Maybe I do. You know, things change. As we get older, our bodies change, and apparently I'm just getting too darn old. Everything's changing. Okay, now I'm not too awful worried about everything being glued down perfectly right now. Because so I am going to take it to the sewing machine. Right now I just want to get a base around everything. Okay, now I do believe I'm going to glue this back portion down. I don't really think I need to cover that, but what do I want to do with here and here? Should I just do music sheet there or should I do... Oh, decisions, decisions. Should I put a piece of what colors was I? This is kind of purplish, bluish, pinkish colors. So let's see. I'm gonna glue that down in there. I think I want it to go this way. Okay, let's see what we have in the line of scrapbook paper. So yeah, we just uh, we just finished cleaning up the yard, raking everything, getting some of the leaves picked up. Um, that looks kind of pretty. And uh, winterizing everything. It seems so crazy that it's already November. I feel like time is just escaped you know it just feels like time goes by so fast the the older you get I think I have that feeling more and more and I don't know why and it's kind of crazy I just feel like time would should slow down a little bit but you know we get busy with kids activities and work and house chores it's just never ending but then again I talked to my mom who's retired she just retired at the beginning of this year and uh she's always doing something so I don't know that she's has slowed down at all I think actually she's probably busier now than she was when she was working full-time so <laughs> uh there's always stuff to do though Always something to clean. Okay, I think we'll just put that there and set that. I think I want, do I want to sew it? I'm going to sew the whole thing, right? Do I just want to sew the whole thing? I am just, you know, not having a clue what I'm doing today. And then here, 
So I just use this same piece and cover that up. Why not? I think we should. I should just glue this down because I'm going to sew around it. But I'm hesitating because I'm thinking, do I want to add like a fold out or a flip thing? And do I want to put it like underneath so you can't see it? What do I want to do? Um, Let's see. So I got a piece of scrap here. If I do like a something here that folds down... I don't know. Let's just let's just carry on getting this thing covered. Yeah. Okay. Now this has text on it going in a direction. What's our up? This is up. Okay. So this is my middle flap, I believe. Oh, so I have to tell you my this is kind of scary. And well, it's not scary, but it's scary for a mother. And it's kind of exciting. My oldest son, who is in seventh grade, is going with his uh, seventh grade class. They go to a camp for a week. And uh, they leave on Monday. They come home like a Friday afternoon. So he's gone for like four nights and he'll be back. Um, but he is, this is the first time he's ever been away from home for an extended time period. You know, like for more than an overnight stay at like a friend's house or something. So I am, I am a little nervous. I'm excited for him. Um, I think he's excited. I think it'll be a, a good experience for them. I think all kids need to experience that, you know, away from home, away from mom and dad. Um, you know, I think it helps them develop some responsibility and uh, a little bit of independence. You know, they've got to make sure that they have all their stuff packed. And he's got to make sure, you know, he has all his stuff in his bag when he comes home. And, well, I think it just teaches them responsibility. They do a lot of, like, team building um, exercises and things, which I also think is really good for these, you know, like, they're 13-year-olds, 12, 13-year-olds. And they need that uh, time to work together, you know, like develop some friendships and things like that in his class and and so I think that's nice so they you know they force them to to participate with kids maybe they wouldn't normally you know be friends with in school you know like oh well you're not in my class I don't know you but here they just you know you're put in a group and this is the group you're with and you have to you know work it out so I think that's a really good thing for them to do so I'm really excited for him to to be going. Um, I think he's uh, excited and nervous too. Um, because it is nerve wracking, you know, you're away from home for a week and oh my gosh, they're not allowed to have phones or anything. And <laughs> every one of these kids at the meeting was, uh, we can't have our phones. What are we going to do? You know, it was just like tragic. We don't have our phones. What are we going to do? Um, I think I'm going to, because I like to reinforce here, I think I'm going to put some fabric here. So let me go get some scrap fabric. Okay, so I found this really pretty, like, light pink uh, pinstripe fabric that I believe will go pretty with the cover. This was a, the cover that I used the fabric here was just like a vintage flower sack. And it has like, the pinks, purples, reds in it. So I think we're going to use this. So now I just want to basically make... Uh, tape for my seams so really I just want about like a half of it and is that a half that's an inch inch and a half and we are going to glue that down so yeah so my son my oldest son is going to be off to camp next week um, and it is going to be the second week of November but surprisingly we have had crazy warm weather here, like abnormally crazy warm for Ohio. So like it has been in like the 80s and that is not normal for October in Ohio. So I'm hoping that they have good weather and it doesn't get super cold because, you know, you never know what you're going to get in November in Ohio. You could get snow. You could get 70 degrees. So... I really hope that they don't get super, super cold because one of their um, uh, 
uh, well, one of their experiences or adventures or whatever they get to do, they can build their own forts. Like they have to build their own shelters, okay? So they can build their own shelters and then they, if they want, they can sleep in them then that night. So that's the kind of the fun thing of it. You have this all day to build your shelter and then if you want to, you can sleep in it that night for one night. And so all the kids are like, oh yeah, we want to do that. We want to do that. And then the teachers are like saying, you know, one year they had, I think they said they had like 36 kids that started out sleeping outside in their shelters. And it got so cold that night. They said it was, I don't know, maybe 20 degrees or something like that. They said it got so cold that night. They ended up, I think, eight kids actually woke up then the next morning still outside. They said everybody else had gone back into the cabins, given up, and was like, I am not doing this. So hopefully they can uh, have decent weather because I can see that. And then those poor teachers have to sleep out there too because they've got to chaperone all these kids. So some poor teacher has to bundle up and sleep outside. So I've been telling my son, I was like, okay, we're going to make sure you have, you know, extra layers, long johns and your... <laughs> And some warm shoes and everything else. Otherwise, you are going to freeze out there. But, uh, yeah, it sounds like it could be really fun. I, You know, we never got to do things like that with our school um, as kids. So I think it's really, really kind of cool that they get to do these things. Um, and I think he's really, like I said, I think he's nervous, but I think he's looking forward to it. So uh, we'll see how he does. Now, my youngest son, though who is nine, he's so funny. He's like, I don't want him to leave. And I'm like, why? I was like, you're always, you know, saying, he never lets me play the video games. I never get my turn. You know, well, they're always fighting. Okay, they're always fighting. Two brothers. They're always fighting about everything, um, no matter what it is, okay? But then my youngest tells me, he goes, well, I'm going to miss him. And I'm like, oh, deep down, you do really like him. And it's just so funny because every other day at home, they're just picking on each other. You know, it's like, he looked at me. He touched me. He won't let me watch the TV. I'm not allowed to play the games. And he is. Oh, my gosh. It's just on and on and on and on. Okay, so this is the way it is. And then when it comes time for one of them to go away, then it's like, well, I'm going to really miss him. It's like, oh, for Pete's sakes. Really? All right, so now that I got everything covered, I'm probably gonna have to do the same thing here. My music sheet, my vintage music sheet is pretty old. So I think I'm gonna do the same thing here with just my pretty pink fabric and just kind of reinforce those seams. But yeah, so that is what I have to make sure I am all packed and ready for next week is to make sure uh, my son doesn't forget anything going off to camp. And then, my gosh, after that, it's like getting ready for like Thanksgiving, planning, you know, family Thanksgiving parties and, you know, getting everything um, at work. We have a lady who is pregnant, due mid-December, so we're all trying to get ready to cover her position while she's gone. So it's a lot of, you know, extra things to do preparing for her. Um, so yeah, work's kind of busy. And then I've been trying to get Christmas stuff put together, getting my kids' list, you know, started of what they want. Um... Yeah, so it's just been like, it's just, that's why I think things just go so fast. It just seems like it goes from one thing to the next, you know? It's like, does it ever slow down? But uh, I guess it's good. You know, I guess I'd rather be busy than bored. I guess I always say that. I'd rather be busy than bored. So I think that's why I have the need, I feel the need to uh, finish something and check something off my list here because... Um, I haven't shown it yet, but I think I did talk about it. I am getting ready to wallpaper down here in my craft room. I craft, my room is like 
part of our basement. We have a full basement and I am in just like part of it. So it's not an actual room per se, it's just an area. But the uh, it's an older house and it's got like that real dark wood paneling on the walls. Um, and I wanna just brighten it up down here. So I really want to uh, put some lighter colors. And this summer I had found at a garage sale some really cool looking, it looks really vintagey, some really cool textured wallpaper it, that looks really Victorian. It's got like a raised design on it and you can paint it. So I want to put that on the walls and paint it and see if I can lighten it up down here a little bit. Make it a little bit more um, bright and cheery for, you know, like, I guess a little bit more uh, inspirational for my crafting. All right, so now I'm just gonna go and just do some evening up here before I sew all the way around. And when I sew around, I, I'll just do a zigzag stitch all the way around it to kind of seal in all my edges here. Um, but I think that should be Good. So let me go sew this. Do I want to sew this right now or do I need to? I, yeah, I think I need to sew my base first before we start adding anything to it. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I just did a zigzag stitch all the way around and I made sure to run my zigzag stitch over the edge um, so that it kind of like it would seal in all my edges so the actual thread goes around the paper so that kind of helps seal everything in and you know disguises any little bits that might might not be perfectly even so let's see we want to put this in here this is going to be glued down here so let's see I could do something with a a fold out here maybe so that it folds up and let's just see. So before I glue the back down, I wanna make sure that I have anything that I'm gonna put under here or we could do a top thing. Hmm, let's see. Let's look at what papers we have here that might go first of all. That might look cool if we do anything. Is this the cover? I think I have that. Oh yeah, that is the cover. Um, let's see. This is kind of pretty. I was using some of that. I don't want to duplicate a ton of paper here. That's why I'm trying to make sure. Okay. We could use some of this to do There's text on this, so this would have to be like a fold down. Could do like a foldy down thing here and hide a notebook under there. Okay, that's an idea, let's do that. So I am going to do, this just needs to be a little bit shorter there. So I know everybody, oh, I always use absolutes. I shouldn't use absolutes. Um, a lot of people are uh, doing videos on Christmas stuff already and I don't know about you guys but I am I love Christmas. Don't get me wrong. Christmas is my favorite time of the year but do you ever feel like maybe it just gets like overloaded? Like you know it's too much and then it's not as special. Maybe that's just me. But I kind of just feel like, oh my gosh, enough already. You know, it's like, can we just do it for a small period of time? But it just seems like a lot of people don't do anything for Halloween or Thanksgiving and it just goes straight to Christmas. But then again, that's what the retail stores do too. So it's just like, oh man, I kind of miss, can we just focus on fall for a little bit? Where did my corner rounders go? 
I kind of just wish we could focus on fall for a little bit before we move to Christmas. But then, you know, like I'm the person who puts up my Christmas tree beginning of December, but then I leave it up until like New Year's Day and I take it down New Year's Day because I don't want to take it down the day of Christmas. But it's all preference, isn't it? Whatever you like. Okay, so this is going to just be like my notebook flap. You have no idea what I'm talking about right now, do ya? No, you don't. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to make a hinge out of a piece of scrap. I don't need something big. Let's just, oh, there we go. Let's use this. And I am just going to, oh, look you there. What was I doing with this? I have a spine. Yeah, whatever. I poked holes like I was binding some. This is why I need to finish projects. I have no idea what I was doing. And then I got pieces in here that I'm like, oh, no idea. Really, really need to finish something. Okay, so I'm just folding that in half, making a hinge. And I'm going to glue this. Should we make it pretty? Why not? We're going to see it. I'm going to just make my hinge pretty because I'm going to see it on this one side. And glue this down. So I did, this is funny too, talking about Christmas and all that. On my way to work the other morning, it's, you know, it's dark by the time I go to work now because winter, hello winter, it's dark all the time. Um, so it's dark when I go to work and somebody had Christmas lights on already. I was like, oh my gosh, it's not even, no well, it wasn't November. It was like still October. It was a, like, really, it was Halloween and they have Christmas lights on. Okay. So I can now, I can tuck this behind there if I want, since I haven't glued this down yet. Yeah, might as well. All right. Might as well. Okay, so I'm just going to glue my hinge behind it. So I'm just going to glue the back part. But yeah, but you know what? They're probably the smart ones to put their Christmas lights up before it gets so cold. You know, I'm the idiot out there when it's 20 below zero yelling because my fingers are froze and uh, putting lights up on the house. So, so yeah, you know, it's like probably does help to, you know, put them out earlier. Okay, so now this is purely just a flap. I believe I want to just, what I'm gonna do is make just like a, it's basically it's gonna be like a belly band, but then I'm just gonna tuck the, uh, the back cover of the envelope or the notepad behind this so that just slides in and out so you can remove it. Yeah, okay. So there's just my flap there. What do I want to do? I need, how, what are we doing on time? We are, oh, we got just a few more minutes I can do. So let's just do, I have kind of liken these uh, tear away looking pockets. So let's see what kind of paper we can get that might look good here. I really don't care for the words and stuff on this one. I wonder if you'll be able to tell that that's all hair. See, it's like there lived a beautiful princess. Um, okay, let's just do, oh, how big can I do this? I'm just gonna tear here. And I'm just doing whatever tearing. Okay, that's good. It's a little bit big actually, so I'm just gonna tear it down a little bit more. Let's go, I gotta tear the opposite way, right? You gotta tear it this way if you wanna see the white. small pocket there will be good. So I'm going to measure this and ink this. 
sew around that. I kind of really like these just torn look pockets. It took me a while to uh, to kind of accept the look of them, but I kind of like it. Just ink it all up, and then it looks kind of cool. To hide all that white space. Okay. Now I think I just want to... Do I want to? Well, I didn't sew around this, but I think I just want to do a straight stitch around the edge to make that look finished. Okay, so I just did a straight stitch and then I'm going to glue my little pocket down here. And then I think that's about all I have time for today. And we'll just keep playing around with this, get this uh, journal off my desk and finished so I can move on to my next Project, where's my fold? There we go, somewhere. Are we good? Gotta make sure we can still close. Squash it down. Alrighty, so there we go, there's our start. And then, We'll keep adding stuff to this and we'll keep playing around with our journal here and we're going to get this baby done. So I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to get your paws dirty and get crafty. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.